days after a man left a suspicious package in front of the Portland Museum of Art, police are still searching for answers. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen spoke with someone who saw that strange display firsthand. To, to me, it was, just, it was just very strange, very odd. Chad Boucher was walking downtown to meet friends early Saturday afternoon in Portland. You know, I looked to my right and you know, in front of the museum entrance and I, I saw what looked kind of like an art exhibit. The display caught his attention. And it was like covered with like, like a straw or like a feather type. And then there was like a black package like in the middle. So it was, had like a teepee shape to it. Police haven't released photos of the package. But another eyewitness took this image from the West End on High Street Saturday evening. Right here in front of the Portland Museum of Art is where that suspicious package was placed. B-A-L-M, or BALM, was spray painted in black spray paint somewhere on this stone. It has since been cleaned up. And we should mention the museum is closed right now because of COVID-19. After investigating for about three hours, on Saturday around 6 p.m., police determined the package was not an explosive device. But Hannah, just as we were in our open and you were talking to me, they actually opened up the, the tape in the streets. In the following days, an ongoing search for this man, caught on camera, parking his truck on High Street, then placing the package in front of the museum. Police are reviewing footage from nearby security cameras including video like this taken by our new center main cameras stationed across the street, which show the person of interest carrying two large bags towards the museum entrance. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. In Portland, Hannah Deneen, New Center, Maine. Well, so far, Portland police have not said what was in the package, only that it could be described as concerning. And police have not released any new information since Saturday. At that point, they called this a criminal investigation.